everyone. She is the first woman to win an Indy car race, Danica but, Patrick. Yeah, but there are some things about Danica that she says may surprise you. Sports director Dave first spoke with Danica <laughs> about her off-track confessions. What did you find out, Dave? Well, you know, I've done several one-on-ones with Danica over the years, but to me, this year she seems much more relaxed, and certainly getting that first win out of the way helps, but she's still got that same edge to her, whether she's talking about rap music or her rival, Dan Weldon. Looking for just one way to describe Danica these days? Good luck. So there's a whole Danica package that comes with you, is there not? I carry a lot of baggage, I do. <laughs> <laughs> there's the Danica fans, pro or con. I heard my first booze last year for the first time. You know what, I think it's funny. I think if somebody takes that much effort to let me know that they don't like me, must mean they're still watching. There's the very fashionable side, which isn't confined to just her in the pattern. You know how many pairs of shoes I had to bring to this, this race and the next one? Like, like 10. What if there was another guy in the series that brought that many, that shoes? many shoes, who would it be? Do you think that there's anybody that could have brought 10 pairs of shoes? Yes. Anybody out there? Weldon. <coughs> Thing still what did you say, Grant? <laughs> well, then, this I got a cold. Funny. I apologize. I know. I heard you've been coughing lately. Yeah, I'm sorry. And lately, there's the very cheeky side. Tell me what you got, little mama. From music videos to a Sports Illustrated swimsuit shoot. Tell me cheeky. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I like getting made up. I like the hair and makeup aspect and sometimes the fabulous clothes and, you know, just... Getting to do that to me is a good time. I'm still very feminine outside the car, which is something that probably surprises a lot of people. The number of projects are seemingly infinite, but don't assume she'll follow in Elio's footsteps. Can you dance? Uh, I was, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I took um, took jazz lessons. I took um, jazz lessons. Yeah, that's really? right. I was young. Jazz hands. Not ballet. You did all that. See? Yeah. These aren't spirit fingers, these are spirit fingers. Number one, I couldn't do that. Number two, I'd be too angry and like competitive. I'd be sitting on those benches looking at my competition like this. <laughs> you wouldn't be smiling? No. It's hard not to smile as a woman in her position, but it's because of that focus that she rarely does on the job. You see the irony in the two sides of you. On one hand, you uh, you know you're in a bathing suit, smiling, you're smiling, conversational. You're, absolutely. And then when you get on the track, it's a completely different Danica yeah. Patrick. Well, it has to be. That I, is frankly, quite scary to. sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> Call it a necessary evil, although don't expect her to apologize. If I'm competing, I am focused, and I look like I'm mad because I put this face on. And that's not inviting, I know, but I can't help it. I can remember the perfect picture of probably how I feel. Is, uh, it was 2005 at the Indy 500, and there's a picture of me, and everybody's around, and I'm sitting on the wall, and I'm like, please, leave me alone. Just, And that was the picture right here of me like this that, that was run, and I thought, you know what? Yes, I was fed up at that point. But what she's no longer fed up with, that endless question of when she'd ever win a race. Danica Patrick wins Remember, the wins face a of racing really changed last month. Her goal now, keep on winning. On the road to a championship. I think that as a driver, I think uh, one of the, my strengths is consistency and, um, you know, not sacrificing a whole race for one position. You know, and I think that that's what wins championships. And so um, I think let's look at the next task, and that's winning. She's relaxed to get that win out of the way, but now the next goal, winning championships and certainly winning the Indianapolis 500. She is chomping at the bit to get on the track tomorrow with all the other veterans. Speaking of getting back on the track, 14 rookies did that today here at the Speedway.